guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Alexia and if you're not new, then welcome back. If you've seen today's title, we are doing something a little bit different, more podcast style, sit down, chit chat, whatever you want to call it. And yes, we are going to be talking about healing your inner self, loving who you are, ways to cope with difficult things, being self-aware, taking accountability for your own actions, what you say, what you do. So I have a list. I have eight topics that I'm going to talk about and different things that you can do to help you with that. What might work for me might not work for you, but I just wanted to give you guys my two cents and maybe it might help you. The first thing I want to talk about is healing your inner self. Basically what it means. And I'm going to get straight into it because I want to give you guys everything. We all go through different things. We have our own battles. We have our own struggles. Everything, you know, we all go through certain things. We're humans. Things happen. We make mistakes. We do things we regret. But... You have to learn how to cope with those things, whether it be a breakup, whether it be like a friendship breakup, you know, family problems, financial problems, life problems, anything, work problems. You need to learn how to deal with those things and really move on from those things, fix those things if you're able to. Now, we're not all perfect, so obviously things are going to happen here and there. We're all going to go through certain things that... I just gonna keep happening because we're human but i'm gonna touch into my second topic which goes directly with my first one is coping with things that are difficult something that i found helpful was journaling so being able to write down your thoughts being able to write down anything that you want has really helped me personally you know i'm not the type of person that will write bullet points down and ask myself questions i just write down what i'm thinking how i'm feeling and my mind thinks way faster than my hands can write, but I still try to write as fast as possible. And just being able to put your thoughts, your feelings, emotions, anything that you are feeling into paper and just writing it down, I have found that it makes my life so much more lightweight. Does that make sense? Like it makes me feel more relieved. Being able to breathe more. So. I just write down what I'm feeling. I write down anything and I keep this very sacred to me. Nobody touches this. This is my privacy right here. Another thing I have found that helps me a lot is posting on my spam account on Instagram. So I post stuff like this, you know, just random pictures that I take throughout the day in my captions. I write down stuff, how I'm feeling, things that are going on. Like I'm going to read you guys one description so you guys can hear it. Going out with my friends and my sisters has honestly made life complete. Being able to go out with people who truly fit the vibe and I can connect to. My boyfriend per usual always matching to my vibe and always going with me anywhere. And my friends honestly best I've ever met in so long. Being able to decide to go out and have fun together and following through with it is the best feeling to just enjoy while what is left of summer. Another one that I wrote down is was a little longer so buckle up i'm at peace making peace on my own time and realizing that i can't control a lot of things letting god take the wheel and guide me in the right direction as a human i'm not perfect and no one is we make mistakes every day but as humans we need to learn from them and realize that we are not that we are humans and to stop beating ourselves up over things we cannot control and things that happen i've been trying to turn over a new leaf and become a better version of myself not just for me but for the people around me as well the way you act, talk, and move affect others as well. And don't forget that. If you're in a bad mood and project that around other people that are near you, they're likely to get in a bad mood as well. Again, we're not perfect, but we try to day by day. Change something for yourself and those around you. I've been healing in silence and taking my own time, healing from simple and difficult things at the same time. And being able to do that and find ways to help has been the best thing that I could have done. Started going to the gym to improve my image, not just that but also my health learning that it's okay to take a step back once in a while and be able to shut down and be in silence when things get to a point where it's too much learning that not everything has to be perfect but as long as i'm trying that's all that matters i hope you guys are able to take something meaningful from this and to let yourself know it is going to be okay that was a lot so just being able to just let your feelings out is something that just helps so much personally for me if you're the type of person that doesn't like to talk to people or post about your problems or anything in general, to just write it down. Write it down. If you hate writing, 
go to your phone you have the voice messages thing just talk 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 just find something that helps you feel better that helps you feel more lightweight more comfortable more happy don't just bottle everything up inside because it's gonna get to a point where you are going to explode it has happened to me i don't like it so i try to find different ways to help me my next topic topic number three is learning to love who you are so my first thing this is going for my girlies because i've been there i have compared myself to these instagram models these famous beautiful women Yes, they are all beautiful. They have beautiful bodies. What I have realized is that I don't have to look like them to be beautiful. I don't have to look like them to be gorgeous. I don't have to look like them to be pretty. I am pretty and beautiful and gorgeous just how I am. With my stretch marks, my cellulite, everything. You know, you don't have to look like these Instagram models. I'm telling you, you are beautiful as you are. You do not need to look like these famous people to be beautiful and to love the person you are. Yes, we're all going to have some type of issue with our bodies some type of flaw we're always going to point it out we're always going to look in the mirror and say oh my god my stomach looks too big or oh my god my deli light is too much or my stretch marks look ugly no baby girl they're gorgeous okay okay mama you look beautiful you do not need to look like these famous people to be beautiful girl you need to love who you are in and out some things that i have recently done is go to the gym and yes of course i have my own flaws that I point out to myself so I go to the gym to work on some things but I also want to work on my health and I want to find other things to do on my downtime because I have realized that going to the gym gives me more to do throughout my day than just staying in my room locked up doing nothing so I like going to the gym and just despejar la mente you know what I mean let your brain go let your thoughts go pushing yourself to do something that you don't usually do. My next topic is touching in with the person you are. So what I mean by touching in with the person you are is to sit down, figure out who you are, figure out what you want, figure out your thoughts and act on them, if that makes sense. You wanna do something but you feel like it's too much or too soon or you're embarrassed to do it or you're ashamed to do it. Don't baby girl, just do it. Just go, D do what you want. You want to go to the gym, babe, go to the gym. You don't like the gym, work from home. Work out your body from home. You want to start doing more productive stuff, set a routine. Go to bed early, wake up early, make sure your house is clean, go clean your car or go out. Do something. You got to touch in with yourself. You need, you're the type of person that likes to be alone, go out on a hike. Go to the lake by yourself. Go shopping or go to the park you know there are a lot of things that you could do there's times where i like to go out with people and then there's times where i like to be by myself when i'm by myself i like to be in my room in my sacred place playing my games what might work for me might not work for you you might like to be outside going on a hike going on a walk taking your dog out or your whatever animal you got you do that you're just touching in with your inner self with who you are my next topic is bettering yourself so a lot of people you know they have some things that they want to work on and yes that goes in with touching in with who you are and healing your inner self but bettering yourself is not just about your image more about your mouth your brain what you say what you do how you act sometimes people don't realize that how you say certain things or how you speak comes off a different way from what you're intending and this has happened to me, girl. Trust and believe. Sometimes our words can really affect others. Our actions can affect others. And that's something that we have to really reflect on and work on to become the better person that you want to be. To turn over that new leaf. And that's going to tap in with my next topic. That is being self-aware and taking accountability for your actions. This all taps in together. Because you're going to say something that you're not going to mean you're going to act the way you don't want to act and you're not going to take accountability for it. You're not going to be self-aware of it. You need to tap into that. You need to be very self-aware. You need to take accountability for your actions, be responsible for what you're doing. Because if you come and you talk to somebody disrespectful, they're going to talk to you disrespectful. That's going to cause an argument and then you're not going to get anywhere. You picking up what I'm putting down? 
You picking it up? If you catch yourself starting to talk to somebody a specific way that is just a little twisted, you need to catch yourself on that. You need to be self-aware. You need to say, hold on. I need to shut up for a second. I need to rethink what I'm going to say, how I'm going to say my actions or how I'm going to move and then say it. Because oftentimes we don't think about what we're going to say until we say it. And that really affects a lot of things. So you really need to think of what you're going to say and then say it and make sure that you're saying it correctly and not twisted, not weird, not in a way where you know you're going to cause an argument. All these topics in the end are like tuning in together so you need to be very 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 accountable for what you do you need to make sure that you are taking responsibility for your actions because one thing that you say to somebody else is going to affect them more than what you think is going to affect them and yes we're human there's times where we're going to slip up and something's going to happen you know but you really need to be aware of what you are saying to someone else be aware of what you are going to do how it's going to affect somebody else one thing for me is you know i'm the type of person i'm gonna put myself on the spot that i have argued a lot i have talked with attitude like a lot of things that come out of my mouth come out twisted and they move weird like i said so i've been learning to if there is a problem to not argue about it to sit down have a conversation about it clear up things because if you know, you guys have probably argued with your parents or your significant other or your friends. When you argue with somebody, in the end, you are both going to be mad at each other. You're not going to want to talk to each other. You're going to be, you're going to want to be alone. But if you come, you have an issue, you say to your significant other, your parent, your friend, hey, can we sit down and talk about this? I just want to clear up some things. You guys sit down, you talk, you fix it. No arguments in there, no pointing fingers, nothing. You just sit down and talk. And by the end, everything is cleared up. You guys are perfectly fine. No argument, no being mad at each other, no pointing fingers. And everything feels better. Instead of being mad and crying all night, you're just happy and sleeping all night. You feel me? You picking up what I'm putting down? So this is my take on becoming a better person, bettering yourself, learning to do stuff that helps you. Like if you're a person that is interested in YouTube, do it. You're a person that wants to journal, do it. You're not going to know if you're going to be able to do it until you do it. You know what I mean? Like, you you don't know if you're going to be successful at it until you do it. So you really need to just start taking that foot and putting it forward. Like, take your foot and put it forward and try new things that you know are going to help you. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more podcast e videos, let me know in the comments. And if you guys need more advice or information, go follow my Instagram and I will be sure to help you guys.